guys, Trogdo here with another redstone tutorial. Today I have a item elevator. And if you've been playing around with item elevators, you'll know that they don't act the same on Pocket Edition as they do on the other systems. So I had to come up with a brand new design and this is what I came up with this one uh, this one you can put one item in and it will go all the way up to the top uh, automatically uh, the clock doesn't have to be running all the time so how that works is this comparator detects when a item is in this dropper right here and it powers itself creating a clock and then this right here is our output of that clock and it goes into this line of uh, torches going all the way up and basically the torches go and activate one after the other so item goes in there this torch will uh, light up, which will power that dropper, putting it here. After two ticks, actually it's three ticks, counting the tick it takes for the torch to go on. This will turn on, putting the item into the next dropper, and so on. It will keep on doing that. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out and put the rest of the stack in there. So I put 64 total items. And I'll be quiet for a second. You can't hear the droppers, can you? That's because it's silent while it's running. Completely silent while it's running. I think you might hear at the end there's going to be some droppers firing, but that's just at the end. So we'll let that go. And it's actually kind of cool. I think if I put one into like my base on my Let's Play series, I would actually put like glass in front of these. Yeah. You heard that dropper just then. Uh, it just fires right at the end of when there's items in there. But as you can see, there is a whole stack in there. Now... Before you go saying that if you did check out item elevators that you found one that actually works, that worked in the PC, uh, I would ask you to try it again and make sure you look into all your droppers because I had one that was working right when you first built it, but when you would leave the world and come back it would break and you would have to build it completely over again. So I'm going to do that a test quick to show you that that isn't the case with this one. So I'm going to quit the title. I'm going to go ahead and go into the item elevator world. Uh, and I will put that full stack of redstone dust right in there. And as you can see, it's still going up. Uh, the other ones, the other item elevators would work, but they would actually get items stuck in the droppers for some reason. I couldn't figure out why. But this one doesn't break like that. We'll get the full stack in this chest. So I'll let it run again. This tutorial shouldn't be too long. This should be the longest part at, on explaining why this was actually important to build. Plus it's completely silent. I love that. And there you go. See, I got the full stack still. A uh, couple of designs that I tried would leave one block every like six droppers. So it would be like one, two, three, four, five, and then there'd be an item in that one. And then another six, there would be another one. So this one doesn't do that. So let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial after that long-winded uh, explanation. I'm not going to build the full 20 block one I got there. You can go as high or as low as you want. But I'm going to just make like a simple... I don't know, five. 
we'll go six. We'll go six high. Basically, you're just putting your, these are droppers, not dispensers, by the way, but you face them facing up like this, and you just go up as high as you want. I went six here. And then what you're going to do is come on this corner and put uh, solid blocks all the way up. And do the same on this corner. Then you're going to come to this side, place a torch here. You'll hear the dropper fire. And then you're going to break the next block. Place the torch. Break the next block. Place the torch. Break the next block. And then you're going to come back down here. And then instead of placing a torch on this one, you're going to break the block. And then place a torch. And then you do that all the way up too. After you're done doing that, you're going to place a block there. Then you're going to place a block there and there. Basically, you're doing that all the way up. Uh, then you're going to place a block here. You don't place a block there on this one, the very first one. But you'll place a block on that on all the way up. So it should look like this right now. And you can just pause and copy it if you need to. Next, what you're going to do is place a repeater facing into that block on two ticks, or three ticks. No, two ticks, I think. Yeah, two ticks. And then you're going to do that on all of these, including this one. Then what you're going to do is place redstone dust on these blocks right here. Then you're going to take redstone torches, place them on these blocks on this side. Uh, the very top one doesn't have to have one, but if you have like an odd number of droppers, you'll have this uh, side up on here and you would have to put it there. So I'll just leave it there for right now. It's not important to have that one there because I have even number of droppers. But you're going to place blocks on top of those uh, torches. Then you're going to place torches on the side of those blocks. And you'll see that they'll go off. And then you're going to place blocks on top of those torches. And I think I may, yeah, I accidentally hit this. Uh, basically, that's all you have to do for that part. And then you have to build the clock. And then this is how you do that. You're going to place a comparator coming out of this block. Put it on subtract. And then you take a repeater coming out of that comparator. Put a block in front of the repeater. Put a dust there. Uh, dust here. And then you come around like this. Then put a repeater going into that comparator. And that will create your clock. So if I put an item in here, you'll see it's going around in a circle. Now all I need to do is hook this clock up to this uh, item elevator. And to do that, we want these torches to be off. So we put a torch there to invert the signal. We put a dust there and a repeater going into that. And you'll see that all of those are off. So when the clock hits this, it will turn this torch off, which turns this one on and it cascades up. Uh, then just for display purposes and to show you that it works, put, we put a chest there. Hopper right there, and then a chest into that, and I will put the full stack in here. And you'll see that it's running. And we'll let it go for the full stack. But see, this torch right now is not doing anything. 
Uh, if I were to have the next layer, you would need that torch because that's what supplies power to this line. Uh, it should be done here in a second. Yeah. Yep. And we heard the dropper right at the end, just like I said. And I got the full stack out of it. So there's the tutorial on that. This is actually a pretty essential piece of circuitry to use in a lot of builds. So I'm glad I'm finally cracked on or cracked how to build this thing automatic, you know, being fully automatic clock and stuff. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and thank you for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye.